When we got back to Massachusetts from a year in the jungles of Borneo, working as field assistants on a Harvard Ecology field project, following orangutans through the rainforest and gathering data that we hoped could save the diminishing wildlife from extinction, my fellow student researcher, Todd Truesdale, decided to start one of the region's first paper recycling companies. This was back in 1986, and Todd's logic was clear, clear as a bell. Why on earth, anywhere on earth, would we cut down trees, clear-cut entire forests, just to make paper, endangering wildlife, exterminating habitat, polluting the water and air, when there were so many different non-timber plants from which to obtain fibers? Ever hear of papyrus? And when the fibers contained in post-consumer paper could be turned right back into paper? Paper recycling seemed to be a no-brainer, and it made so much sense to my buddy Todd that he made it his life's work. Since those early days in the middle years of the neoliberal Reagan Republican takeover, paper recycling has certainly found a robust place in the market, but tragically, because of a lack of stringent and market-leveling environmental re regulations, particularly on environmentally damaging negative externalities, and a lack of stimulus for innovation, along with what I consider atrociously deficient curricula and education, virgin trees continue to be cut to make cardboard and paper products. Rivers continue to be contaminated, and where sustainable harvesting is mandated, true forests are clear-cut or burned around the world to make way for monocrop, eucalyptus, and other fast-growing, invasive, non-native fiber tree plantations. The population of humans has doubled since Todd and I were in the rainforest, and the amount of forest has been reduced by 90% or more. The sobering lesson from all this is that despite our optimism, and despite the technical hurdles all being achieved, in the United States only two-thirds of paper production are recycled. 33% of what an ever-growing population uses is still coming from our forests. In this module, we will explore the technological and political reasons something as simple as paper has not achieved the holy grail of 100% recycling, and get you familiar with how paper is made and remade. We'll look at paper through history, from the papyrus reeds on the banks of the Nile in ancient Egypt, from which it gets its name, to the herbal, hemp, flax, linen, and cotton papers that were all the rage for centuries before companies were able to buy up huge tracts of forest land for little money and start exterminating entire ecosystems just to turn some of the trees that grew there into rolls of material to wipe our butts with. We won't hold any punches. And we'll ask some related hard questions. Questions like, why don't we do as the ancient and modern Egyptians and Middle Eastern and Asian and many European, European people do and clean our butts on bidets and water hoses instead of killing off delicate environments to make paper? Why do we drain highly productive wetlands to grow trees to make paper when wetlands can produce both fiber for paper and spawn fisheries and protect wildlife? And finally, we'll ask a more nuanced variant of the question, paper or plastic? We'll ask, when paper and when plastic? Why are we still printing important books and magazines on paper, for example, having lost so much cultural knowledge in the past, like when Caesar burned down the Alexandria Library in 48 BC? And now we know better, and particularly knowing we can now easily make books out of recycled plastic, as your textbook Cradle to Cradle proves, making them more durable, waterproof, fire and mold retardant, so that critical knowledge could last almost forever, which is supposed to be plastic's downside. Or do we want Fahrenheit 451 to come true? And why are we still making straws out of plastic when even Disney has shown that paper straws do a perfect job of providing a one-time consumable that can be composted and never hurt a sea turtle or dolphin again? It's time to plunge into paper. Perhaps when you're done with the module, you'll want to write a paper about it, uh, electronically, so no trees will be harmed in the making of your assignment, of course. <laughs>